Welcome to the walkthrough for Digital Doesn't Matter, the app. We just uh, touch to start. We bring up a table of contents. Uh, we can scroll through all the different chapters by holding down the white area or between the chapters. Or we can drag on the color head and move the chapters around and read the book in whatever order we feel is interesting to us skip the chapters that are not interesting to us except for forward introduction and conclusion which can't uh, be moved. You can hit reset and go back to the order at any time. I'm clicking on introduction and you'll see the content with headers in two columns. Um, you can drag the screen to the left and just read each chapter that way. Moving back to the right you'll see that there's a uh, endless amount of content uh, stacked up below it and color headed. If we hit uh, name, it will bring up the profile of that person at any time and you can just drag down to hide it. But Jeff could be up here. See his um, headshot, his titles, his background, his key quotes in this book. He's very generous with his time. And we can just continue to scroll through the content, reading at our leisure. If we press the favorites in the header, we can either add a page or go to any the page that we've already favorited, like breaking in, where we have a sidebar here on the right. If we press it, we can get more information about something related on this page. There's lots of different interface points that we can interact with. This one is a thumbing nav, so we can thumb through the content and, and see favorites. On our sidebars, we can write comments. You have to sign in and register to do so. You can collapse the sidebars, get them out of the way. You can even press the header and hide all of that information, bring it back, hide it again. Uh, so you can read unfettered if you like. And if you scroll pages, it will remain hidden until you click the header again to reveal all of that stuff. We bring up that thumbing navigation at the bottom by swiping the lower third of the screen with our thumb. And you can see the content of all the different chapters or the different pages within the chapters. We have this heat map for pages that have been favorited. So as you're thumbing through and scrolling through, you can visually see uh, one of the pages that you've already favorited and how close you're getting to it. At the end of each chapter, you can write a comment, same with the sidebars. If you press the header, you can hide the sidebars and the comment pane as well as the header. Pressing the A in the header will reveal annotated content that's been annotated by you or anybody. It's a toggle so you can hide it by clicking it again or bring it back up. If you click on the annotated text that's underlined, it'll bring up a preview which you can scroll through and see everybody's annotations about that particular passage or click it and it will bring up a you know, larger screen so you can more easily read and scroll through all the annotations related to that passage. You can uh, select any amount of copy a passage, a word, and you can bring up this menu for getting a definition of the word or annotating it or searching within the book or searching outside the book as well. To annotate, of course, you have to sign in, but uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I've been showing you the annotations already. Let me turn off the annotations here. Bring up the thumbing now by swiping at the bottom. And let's just search within the book for all references to MTV, which immediately becomes highlighted. Now you notice in the top right corner of a spinning wheel that represents that it's doing a search of 200,000 words that are in this book. And in the header next to the annotations, there's a, a magnifying glass representing search with a slash through it. So if you were to click that, 
it would cancel the search in case it was taking too long, maybe. Uh, but in a second, you should have results drop down. There they are. And I'll click on Cable TV. And you'll see, as we go to that page automatically, it'll highlight the word on the page. And then we have other pages of reference to MTV that we can click to. And there it is on the page on the right, but I've canceled the search. And now we're off. So let's uh, click on this footnote, switch off factor, and get a definition of that. Like that. Now let's go back to the table of contents by simply dragging the header down and you know we could go to any particular chapter we want like uh, most impressive digital campaigns. Now this has a lot of videos on, in it so it will take a second for it to load. You see in the upper right hand corner it's still processing but as soon as it loads all the it preloads the videos look you can still do the thumbing nav and look ahead and even go to another page if you wanted to while that was loading, but now it's loaded. So we can turn the screen and you'll see that there are images and if you click them, you'll get a caption as detailed as this with all the information including active links. Another footnote on the page we can click. Get some information on Nike Plus. We have videos as well as images all throughout. See how the uh, captions will scale depending on how much text there is. And there will be active links uh, outside of the app if you click or open up Safari. And why don't we play a video? You can uh, play it within the view of the of the chapter or of course you can go full screen and there's there's audio I just don't have it on right now so it's not to annoy you so we'll have case studies and uh, the reference commercials and let's go back down and you can see you can play it at the smaller size or the larger size Stop and see, go up the captions. Now we go back down to our table of contents by dragging the header and we can filter by topic. So let's enter Subservient Chicken, which was one of the campaigns in that chapter. And now every single chapter that does not reference Subservient Chicken will drop out so that we're just left with the couple that do. You can click on chapter 15 here, where we just were, and it will see on the right side the subservient chicken. And we can filter by topic with any, any word or phrase. Let's say Ogilvy, which is an agency that was talked about quite a bit. There we go. All these chapters have Ogilvy, or how about a name like David Sable, the CEO of YNR, who was uh, very generous of his time with us. As you see, he appears in all of these chapters, either referenced or quoted himself. We have these features. You can view all the sidebar features that are throughout all the chapters independently. You can scroll through them. You can open them up, and at the bottom, you can comment on them just like at the bottom of any chapters and you can easily move over to the next one or uh, click on it or scroll or there are many ways of moving around and getting exactly where you want to go and as always you can pull down and get back to where you were so you can never be lost this is a key quotes feature so all the more interesting quotes from all of the interview subjects and John and me. Um, it's a nice screen saver for your iPad. They just lazily drift by and 
when you see a quote of interest, like this Jim Spielman quote, you can just click on it and up pops Jim's uh, background, his biography, any links he has, like his LinkedIn, and then the quotes themselves. And then if you just want to see everybody who's in the book, we have our own type of Facebook little um, scrolling page of all of their headshots. And if you click on the headshot, it'll bring up, of course, the bio page with all of their more interesting quotes. Lots of people in the book. And as always, we just scroll down from the top, go back where we want it to be, click, and there we go. So there are other features I want to put in that are actually built in like uh, audio clips or being able to uh, expand on a piece and zoom into the actual full interview, but I haven't been able to put all that content in because there's only so many hours in the day. And if I keep going like this, it will never be released. But uh, I think we have a lot of great features like this thumbing now. So if like you're thumbing through a magazine or a book, get to exactly where you want to go. Um, can see all of the different section heads. You can click in. You can look at the captions on these uh, images. You can select text or select people. You can select the uh, any amount of text and annotate or search within or define. Uh, it's it's a, hopefully a great new wonderful experience that's less sedate than I sound right now. <laughs> But it's been a long time of developing this app, and I'm really thrilled that we're we just about finished to release it, and I can't wait for everybody to play with it. So, that's it for now. Thank you.